I'm getting ready to go out to a portable location that's not down in the valley and try some 900 megahertz operation and uh, I've got a couple of antennas one that I already had that is a cell phone Yagi actually it's a dual band Yagi and supposedly it uh, it covers the frequency range of the 900 megahertz handband but since I have no way to test it I don't want to uh, fire up and start transmitting on it until I can check it on you know somebody's bird watt meter or something like that and uh, just make sure that it's got a reasonable SWR and it's not going to harm the radio but I have built a couple of uh, quarter wave you know just simple quarter wave radiators and one of them I built a little ground plane on an N panel mount connector and but I'm going to try something a little different today I built another quarter wave radiator which I'm calling it the uh, the simplest 900 megahertz antenna but it's actually not a hundred percent the simplest because here it is and what it is is I, I had an old end connector that was on a piece of coax and I looked inside it and it was uh, a little bit corroded so I took it off and this is the pin out of that connector and I just put a piece of uh, 3 inch piece of 12 gauge house wire on it bent that end over into a loop and soldered it so that hopefully I won't poke my eye out with it and soldered it onto the pin and put a piece of heat shrink tubing over it so let me uh, move this around a little bit turn the radio off and here's what we've got try to set this thing down okay hopefully that's not gonna fall but bottom line here's here's the way it works since I've got an in connector pin I've just plugged that into the in connector that's on the uh, the coax pigtail on the radio itself and this is a Stanley three inch clamp just you know construction type clamp that you use to clamp stuff for gluing or whatever and I cut the plastic pads off of it so it would make good electrical contact or at least reasonable electrical contact turns out there was a little bit of rust underneath it but I think it'll be okay so I clipped that onto there and it makes it makes it kind of a, you know kind of a tripod with the uh, coax pigtail and it's probably going to have a little bit of directivity towards the the uh, where the clamp is because that's where the the best ground plane is going to be so I don't know anyway hopefully it'll work that'll be enough to uh, to bring the SWR down versus not having a ground plane although the coax and the radio and everything would form a ground plane to some extent but uh, since this is only a 15 watt radio I think that uh, having it sitting over there at mic cord length from me will be safe especially since you know there are 900 megahertz 3 or 4 watt handheld radios out there that uh, that you hold in your hand and transmit with the antenna right there so I think that uh, like I said having this at mic cord length and uh, running 15 watts I think it'll be fine from an RF exposure standpoint so I guess I'm gonna go out there today and uh, try a little bit of operation and see how it works now this is actually not the absolute cheapest and simplest 900 megahertz antenna there's another way you could do it 
use the clamp again or just you know wrap some wire around it and have some three inch pieces of wire sticking out around your this. I actually thought about I checked a, a PL259 shell and it screws into it and I thought about cutting it off right about here with the Dremel to make a uh, make a, a nut that I could screw onto that and I could actually solder some some wire uh, radials onto that and screw it down over the connector and that would work well also and I measured the tip of this pin right there where it plugs in to the uh, to the center pin on the end connector and it's 64 thousandths of an inch in diameter and I looked that up and that is 14 gauge actually it's uh, it's listed at 14 gauge solid copper wire is listed as oh, 64.1 thousandths so close enough you know if you had to you could hit it with a a bit of, of sandpaper or something to polish it down to get it to uh, to go into that center pin but you might not even have to do that but yeah just cut a piece of now I would make it I made this three inches to account for the additional length of that pin I would make it uh, about three and an eighth or a little bit over three and an eighth maybe a three and a quarter to uh, account for the length of it if I were going to make it out of just 14 gauge wire with no pin you should be able to just plug that directly into the center pin of the, the end connector on the pigtail so the calculation oh uh, 234 divided by 902 megahertz gives you right at three and an eighth for a quarter wave radiator so if you made it three and a quarter to account for what plugs into that that would probably work out okay so anyway that would be even simpler than this but since I had this laying around I figured I might as well do it this way so there it is so here I am up on the mountain there's a tower right there I've got nothing. Nothing. I've tried several different frequencies that there are supposed to be repeaters on, but some of them I know exist, but they're over 100 miles away, so I didn't really expect to be able to hit them, even from up here on the mountain, because there are a couple of mountains between us. So, anyway that's what we got nothing from here that antenna staying propped up there pretty well I've been driving with it like that what we're going to do now is I have this General Electric Orion and I have it set up here in the house for receive only temporarily I did it just for this test and uh, all I did for an antenna is stick a random piece of wire into it, short piece of wire, and uh, into the antenna port. And I'm not near a window or anything. It's just in here in my office. So I have the uh, Kenwood 900 megahertz radio in the truck with the home built antenna on the dashboard. So I'm going to get in the truck and drive down the road and uh, at two or three spots as I go down the road I'm going to uh, I'm going to send out a test transmission and uh, leave the camera here pointed at the radio so I can hear you know what it sounds like and make sure that the uh, the antenna in the truck is working and I'm going to go down the road to about a mile. Now keep in mind that uh, there are going to be trees and uh, houses and stuff like that between me and the 
the radio here, plus the fact that this radio is in the house with an inside piece of wire as an antenna. So we're not going to expect much. We're just checking to make sure that my uh, simple little home-built transmitting antenna works. Test. 900 megahertz. Test. Thank you.